Sunday the 11th of June and we're on the FTSE 100. So let's have a quick recap of this market from last week in relation to our Sunday analysis and then we'll have a look at the market for the trading week ahead. Okay, so last week we had produced this doji candle. Now what we were looking for were signs of weakness in this market. The first sign would be a break below the lows of this candle right here from Thursday the 1st of June. Our next key levels were down right here. What we were looking for was to see the market breaking below and breaking below. If we broke below, we could expect the movement down into the next key level. If we broke below here, we were expecting the movement down to this 7400 level. Now that's exactly what we've seen last week. On the Thursday, a lot of this move actually came after hours um, in relation to the exit polls from the UK election, but the market came down. You tend to find that very, very often. If you have analysis on a market and then um, even if some sort of news release comes out, the market tends to still respect the structure and the, the likely move that was going to happen on the market. So you can see it came down into that 400 level. Uh, we then found the spring, and the market has rocketed higher um, on the Friday. It's basically money coming out of um, the British pound and getting put into the FTSE 100. Okay, so coming into next week. Well, we've had this very, very strong move up on the Friday. Um, Next week now, I am relatively neutral, and it's because of the way the election turned out. Um, you know, they were expecting a conservative majority, and we did not get that. So for me, really, I want to watch and see how the market reacts now. Um, I will be looking just at key levels, both buys and sells, obviously, up toward the all-time highs. We've been going over this a number of times in recent weeks because the market has been making all-time highs over and over again. So you can see the market testing up at these levels. This remains a strong level of resistance now as we move um, forward. You can actually bring this down, to be honest, into here. You can see the market basically testing on the Friday, testing on the Monday, shot up on the Tuesday, didn't quite get there. It's tested on Wednesday the 7th. And then we have these all-time highs. This is a strong level of resistance. Now, our other zones are relatively similar to last week. Can I just bring this up a little bit? I'm down to here. So we're still looking at these levels. You can see the test, the test, the test. All we have done is brought the zone up slightly higher to incorporate the spike down, the spike down, and the spike up on the Thursday. This is good level. Of support and resistance. Now the market at present has broken above this level. So if we see coming into Monday, the market still holding above this level, then we see the pullback. Potentially good area for that continuation once again. Now if we start to break below this level, once again we're breaking below this key area, the expectation would be a move back down toward the 7400 um, area. Now 7400 is still good support and resistance. So our zones next week are very very similar um, from last week. The only difference is now on this market we've had the movement down we were looking for. Now that we've had that movement down we are waiting to see how the market reacts. Is this the sign of continuation of the very strong upward movement, or is this all based on the, or all on the back of those election results, and it's then going to fail, and the market is going to come back down once again. Really, the clue for that is going to be this 7,495. So it's really up to 7,500, 7,475. It's really this zone right here, which is going to give us the initial clues. If the market is holding above this level, we can look for those buy positions, potentially all the way back up toward the all-time highs, certainly up toward the 7545 area, which is the highs from Friday. If we start failing at these levels, good for those sell positions, 
it would be support breaking, become resistance, and moves back down toward 7400. Okay, so that is everything for this week, guys. Um, as always, I hope that was helpful. I hope you all have a great trading week next week. I'm James Orr, and thank you.